Hey everybody, CK here, and I'm coming to you guys with a like, I guess I could call this like an everyday look, okay? Oh, and yes, the bun is back. The bun is back. I am about to do this get ready with me video as I promised you guys all over Snapchat, and I think I promised you in my last video as well. So I am as always per the huge i am like about to head out but i don't want to do anything dramatic because i'm actually you know i'm wearing my chucks on today i may insert a outfit of the day picture you know what i mean so the goal today is not to really do like a super glam look right but i want to do a very very natural but popping so this is basically a get ready with me with new products okay so what this means is most of this stuff is like first impression all right so I've been teasing y'all on Snapchat like crazy. I rocked this foundation for 16 hours and it was still looking good. This is the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. This is my first time ever, ever, ever buying it. I know, like I used to use MAC, but it was the Pro Long Wear Concealer. And the reason that I never used it was cause I had to get two, right? But whatevs. So this is NC45 and this is NC50. And now I have a little trick. I got a pump too, but I have a trick to where I can mix them. But for now I'm like half and half. So it's all good. We're gonna roll with it, but I'm gonna mix it like I mixed my other foundation, which I will link that video on how I customize that. And we are also gonna use this Violet Voss palette in collaboration with Laura Lee. And that is what that baby looks like. Let me fix it. There we go. And Ofra has a new highlighter. You get like, what is it, five? Yeah, you get like five highlighters in one. So I'm really anxious to use that. I showed y'all that on the snap. And then Makeup Geek has some new blushes, which I'm gonna use. This one is in Chivalry. And I actually showed y'all on Snapchat that I used this as a contour along with another color, which I think it was a Black Radiance color. And it really, maybe I'll do that today. And these are some of the new Makeup Geek blushes. They are reformulated and they have like 20 new shades. I believe five is for porcelain, five is for fair, five of them is for deep skin, and then five of them is for medium deep. Now, of course, you can use them however you choose to use them, but she tried to make it a little bit easier for you to purchase, all right? Just kind of like she did with the contour shades. But anyway, I showed you guys in the last video that I got these ColourPop contour sticks, or what are they called? Sculpting sticks. I told you about those, and I said that I would probably do a Get Ready With Me video with it, but they just recently released two more. They said it wasn't ready for PR, that's why we didn't get it. However, like I don't know that the shades match how I contour my nose and like my face and stuff like that. But I do have swatches of all of the 10 that I have on Insta, okay? So before we get started with these eyes, you guys, I take my Sephora concealer and I mute out all the discoloration. And this will really act as my base. And really, sometimes when I use this Sephora concealer as a base, all I do is set it with the powder and that is totally my eyeshadow. So you guys can totally do that. Now, before I do my natural look, I am gonna just give you some swatches. Like I'll swatch this one, I'll swatch this one, cause everybody wanna know. Really pretty, right? Can, I mean, can my camera even pick that up? This reminds me just a hair, just a hair of Flamethrower by Makeup Geek. Should we test it out? Let's try. I'm just saying. It's close, that's Flamethrower. And this is, this is Biddy in the Laura Lee and Valet Voss palette. I'm gonna go into this one first. And let's see, this is called Alabama. That's pretty close to Cocoa Bear, I'd say. Let's do a swatch just cause I'm curious and y'all know how I do. Definitely close. I can totally spot a close to dupe Cocoa Bear like in a minute, in a hot second. Y'all know this is like my favorite color ever. This palette, seriously, it has a bunch of neutral colors if you just want to do a daytime look. And then it has like shimmer colors and looks like foil shadows like what I showed you, what I swatched. And so it looks like you could do some daytime, nighttime, in between time looks. I mean, this is a good palette to travel with. Because I'm curious about this one to see if it is kind of like a dupe for Peach Smoothie. We gotta swatch it. Very close, I told y'all. Peach Smoothie seems like it's a little more smooth and pigmented though because that's another fave. But I told y'all, I can spot these like from a mile away, like, wait a minute, peace smoothie, wait a minute, Cocoa Bear, I'm telling y'all. So that is called Pris Pot, and we're gonna go into that. Put that in the brow bone. This is about to be bomb, and you're gonna think that I did more than what I really did, but I really didn't. Watch me, watch me, watch me. Uh, that's where I was going. Y'all knew it was coming. And an item that I forgot to mention that I'm gonna be using is this Pixie Liner. And this is called Lash Line Ink. And this is what it looks like. 
That's what the tip looks like. And y'all know that I get like way out of focus when I do my liner and I don't do that one hand situation. I need to like go in. So be right back. I'm very picky when it comes to liners though, y'all, because I like my liners to last for a while. I like them to be extremely like, you know, wet. I like the product to come out and just glide on through or glide on out. So I'm very, very picky, but so far it looks really good. I just want to know if it's going to last all day and if the product is gonna last. So now I'm gonna pop on my mascara and then I am going to recycle my Coco Misha lashes, per the use. So now that I have my liner and lashes on, y'all, these lashes, they will make any look pop. I use these like, I've been using these all the time. But anyway, so these liners right here from ColourPop, I have been rocking these quite a bit too. This is the color Honey Dude by ColourPop. I forgot to tell y'all. And then now I'm gonna go in the lash line and I'm gonna use this color, Call Me, Call Me, right here, okay? And I love it. It's not really, it looks like it's like a burgundy brown, but whatever it is, it works out for my life. So just put it right underneath that. And I like it because the placement is perfect. It's so tiny to where I could put it right where I want it to be. And the thing I like about this is it looks great even without a wing liner, okay? But I went hard on that nude on today, didn't I? And y'all know what I went back to. This is not new either, but I haven't used it in a while, but it's my MAC Peach Luster. And I have a video all about like the battle of the orange correctors. And so I went back to this and the one of the reasons I went back to this and I kind of fell in love again was because I'm almost out of my Sephora orange corrector and because I don't need as much of this, you know what I mean? And I've just been patting it with my finger instead of my brush. And it really neutralizes those hyperpigmentation areas or those hyperpigmented areas. See what I'm saying? And then plus the foundation that I'm gonna use. Dang, say it, don't spray it. <laughs> and the foundation that I'm gonna use is pretty much full coverage. So what this didn't really correct the foundation is gonna get me right. Okay, so I'm about to mix these colors. This is NC45 and this is NC50. When I say this stuff makes your skin look so buttery, it looks buttery. Just wait, just wait for it, wait for it. And don't be shocked because I'm about to put a lot because that's how I do, y'all know. Put the lime and the coconut and mix it all up. And there you have it, ta-da! And this is the Nude Beauty Blender by Beauty Blender. And I got mine from Sephora. I think it's exclusive to Sephora. And pat it out, and pat it out. And then you guys know that I love my Maybelline Better Skin Concealer. This is nothing new. Matter of fact, I may zoom on past this because I do have a highlighting and contouring video. It's called the T on highlighting and contouring. So I am not gonna waste your time too much and bore you. Woo, I almost messed up talking. And I'm gonna set with banana powder. Somebody asked me in another video, do I use my Sasha Buttercup? And I do, I just alternate. Now I'm gonna show you, because I can show you better than I can tell you. I'm gonna show you why I'm not using the contour sticks from ColourPop. Now this is my NYX contour stick that I use on my nose all the time, right? Because all I like is a very subtle highlight, okay? This is good enough for me. Now these are the only two that I have. I told you guys they did come out with another one that's deep, but this is in the color Duke. And if you see, it's really red, right? I don't really need a contour that deep. Now, if you're a little deeper than me, you could totally get away with it, but that is just not my preference. I could use it, but it's not my preference. Now, this one is called Yikes. So you see the undertone is like a little bit different. So that's why I'm gonna use my contour stick today. See, that shade just works for me. It just works. So now on top of that foundation, cause I love that foundation. I'm gonna use my BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Powder. And this is in the color 240. And yes, I did break out a brand new one because my other one, I extremely hit pan. So just pat that on top. Now as promised, this is Chivalry and Chivalry reminds me of a Raisin Blush by MAC. I'm not gonna swatch that and do a dupe thing because I did that on Snapchat already, but I'm gonna just show you guys how I use it. You can actually contour a little bit with it. I'm going a little higher than where I would contour. And then I'm gonna come in with another color. It's bomb to me as a contour. I don't feel like pulling out my Ebony by Black Radiant, so I'm gonna pull out this Contour Palette by BH Cosmetics, baby. And then I'm gonna use one of these colors, and then I'm gonna go right under that and blend it together. But let's go to my favorite contour side, right, yeah. 
It kind of gives me like this bronzy look. I think that's why I like it so much when I use the Chivalry. But I am gonna go into this color Covet by Makeup Geek right here because it has like a little shimmer in it. And that's why I like my blush copper. It's like luminous. Woo, whoa, that's pigmented. And y'all know, I don't like to look like Raggedy Ann. So I think I'm telling my age to Google that. So I'm gonna blend that out a little bit more. Okay, that is a lot of blush. That, that's a whole lot of blush for me, but um, we're gonna see what happens when I put this highlighter on. So now I'm gonna go into this Ofra highlighter. This is called Beverly Hills, and it has five different highlighters in one. So you can use them individually, or you can use them all in one. You could just do a quick swirl and use it all together, okay? Now I did swatches on my Snapchat, and you guys can get a discount code to get 30% off if you're interested, but I always have that in the description box, okay? Ain't that new under the sun? I think I picked up a lot, and I picked up some of the other one too, but here goes. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my, 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 That's intense. I'm gonna have to blend that out. When I swatched this on my hand on Snap, I didn't even know. I wasn't knowing. Y'all, it just like melts in the skin before I even do a spray or anything. I'm gonna take that same gold color and go right there. Wait a minute, I need to do a Snapchat about this highlight right here. O-M-G, what? So I'm about to put on a lippy that I wear all the time. This is like one of my favorite concoctions ever. And this is Pitch Lip Liner by ColourPop, which y'all see, I'm gonna need to get another one because it stays in my makeup bag and I use it all the time. This is the color Two Lips and this is from their Ultra Satin line, which I really love because it stays put. It's not smudge proof, but it stays put all day and it's very comfortable. And so I may need to get another one of these too because I can see through it a little bit. It's my favorite color of all times. 